I think journaling for me is just the most purest and truest way of self-love. I love, love journaling. What the process looks like, how to journal, what, how to get started, what to write about. And we're, and we're digging into this narrative that we believe and we're trying to deconstruct and reparent and change. Don't get caught up in the rules. There's no rules. There's no right or wrong way of journaling. There just, there just isn't. I think so often we, a lot of people are like, well, how do I start journaling? And what do I say? What do I write? What do I do? What do I focus on? And it literally can be what you need in the time of your life that you are in right now. Um, if you want to talk about your day, talk about your day. If you want to dissect and reflect on a memory that was triggering, do that. If you want to put pictures in your journal, do that. If you want to put stickers, great. Um, if you want to sit and just vent because you're frustrated and you're annoyed and you're sad and you're this, this, and that, do that. Literally, journaling can be for anything. Um, that's my personal opinion. I think there are some gurus who feel like you have to sit down and have like, you know, specific number of words and pages and da da da. da. And it's like, especially when you're first getting started, nah, just write what you want to write, reflect on what you want to reflect on. If you're in a place of depression and you feel like you're in this like literal black hole and you just are just succumbed to all of these emotions and feelings, write about that. Which I know some days can be hard to just even pick up a pen and write or face those emotions, right? Like facing the emotions is the toughest thing, right? Um, so often we become really resistant to facing what we're feeling, facing our emotions, facing the thoughts that we're having, and sometimes literally seeing what we're thinking um, can be hard, and but it also can be very beautiful because we can finally see crap. I see what I'm doing, or I see what I'm, how I'm acting or reacting, and this is the moment where we can be like, do I want to keep doing this? Or do I want to consciously choose to, you know, say something more positive about myself or, you know, do affirmation work or, you know, work on the things that are really heavy. Don't get caught up in the rules. There's no rules. And just do what you feel called to do if you want to start journaling. There's no right or wrong way of journaling. There just, there just isn't. Journaling was introduced to me by a therapist when I entered foster care. So I entered care at the age of 14 and she told me it was a great opportunity to just write about my day. I had a bad habit of really just honing in on all of these negative emotions and negative feelings and negative things that were happening in my life. And instead of her telling me to think positive and to, you know, have gratitude and just not think about these negative things, she wanted me to just write them down. And 
I found that to be so powerful because in society, we have a habit of like, let's brush all of the negative things under the rug and let's only think about the positive and this like toxic only positive mentality thing and gratitude, which is great. Like I love gratitude, don't get me wrong. I am all about that life. But what I'm more about is actually tuning into our negative emotions, our negative feelings, all of the negative things that are happening throughout our life. And for me, journaling has turned into this beautiful practice of tuning into my body, my mind, my emotional health. Um, and over the years, it's just continued to evolve. To me, journaling is this like psychological, physiological relationship. It's this companionship with my feelings and emotions and my thoughts and putting it on paper to really see and reflect on what my mind is doing. And that's why I found journaling to be so beautiful because during times of stress and chaotic and toxic, you know, things that are happening within our life, we are able to get them on paper and then take a moment to become aware and look at this and say, okay, I'm being really bad and hard on myself and that's not gonna do anything. That's not going to help me, that's not gonna help people around me, it's not gonna help my life like whatsoever. And there's a place and time for that, I think, like what I was just sharing. Um, vent on the page, get it all out there, brain up all of your negative and just sad and bad emotions. And there's no bad emotions, I don't know why I, keep, why I said that, but Get it all on the page. But then I feel like when you reach a new level of this journaling practice, you're able to go back and read and reflect and see what your mind is doing and what you're doing to yourself, how you're talking to yourself, how you're talking to other people. It's just this opportunity to look into this relationship with journaling and your mind and body. All you need, literally, is paper, a pen or pencil, and yourself. I truly like to be in a very comfortable position. Um, I like to surround my environment for journaling. I like to have coffee or tea or water. I like to have um, a comfortable pillow usually. I like to have a blanket. I usually don't have my phone with, by me, but I'm dealing with a situation that I need to have this near. Yeah, you, you just wanna be comfortable. Um, some people journal in bed, some people journal by their computer, some people will journal in the morning, some will journal in the evening. Um, honestly, it's when works for you. I think we, there's lots of gurus out there that say, oh, it's gotta be morning pages. It's gotta be in the morning. Um, there's some people who say, it's great to do it in the evening. Like literally, it can be what you want. The one thing I will say with making journaling a practice, something that's consistent in your life, something that's a nearly everyday thing. And I say nearly because we don't always have to be consistent and if we need to break and take a day off, I'm 100% all about that life. But what I mean here is that if you want it to be a practice, if you want it to be a strategy to towards your healing, then what I would recommend is attaching it to a habit that you have in your life right now. I think journaling for me is just the most purest and truest way of self-love, of facing the hard things that we're going through in our life, of having courage to 
dissect the hard things going in our life and having the courage to face the vulnerability that comes with experiencing joy. Um, there are gurus out there that say there's more vulnerability with the things that we find joyful and playful than there are on the hard things. And sometimes those are the hardest emotions to actually face because we get into this habit of second guessing the great things that are happening in our life. And we question whether we deserve that. And once we do receive it, we question it. You know, why do we do that? Um, and the reality is, is that we do deserve it. I just think it's a beautiful psychological relationship to meet ourselves on the page and how we can work on narratives that can come up and we see ourselves in the page and we're, and we're digging into this narrative that we believe and we're trying to deconstruct and reparent and change. I notice on the page, my inner critic comes out a lot, where I beat myself up for how I'm feeling, or I talk bad on my, about myself because I'm not doing enough. That, you know, that scarcity mindset. Um, and in reality, I'm doing a crap ton. I'm doing a lot. There are days, yes, where sometimes the day ends and you don't quite see the shifts that are happening, but they're happening. They are happening. Um, we are doing enough. We are making impacts. We are working towards the life we desire. And even during the days where you rest, even during the days where you take time off, you take a break, we are growing, we are shifting, we are becoming our better selves. So, don't be yourself. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated because I just talked for literally 10 minutes about journaling and it didn't record. I set this all up and I literally thought that I pushed record and I didn't. So there's that. Ugh, oh, crazy.